So now time to work with uh, DC motors. So our typical particle IDE, GitHub, let's go down to the, my GitHub site. There are the DC motors. Uh, reminder, this playlist uh, has a whole bunch of assignments on it. And I'm going to show you two images. One is the uh, dual motor driver. I don't know why it says small. I should say dual. And the other one's the big Pololu motor driver. Um, I'm not going to give you as much this time. I want you to use this diagram to come up with your own circuit diagram and then get everything working in the web app. Now I will give you a couple of checks. So there's the dual motor drive, ooh, where is it? There's the dual check, and it's just got some code. It starts A4 uh, is output, D4, D7's for flashing, and it, well, you really need to work hand in hand with this thing. You see, here's the photon that on this side, here's the, the chip, that's the motor driver, has ground, 3v3, then A4 is the speed, that's the analog 4, and digital 4 is the direction. For this motor, where this wire is one wire to the motor, this is the other wire, if you get the wires mixed up with DC motors, brushed motors, you just flip them the other way around. Now this is ground and voltage um, for that motor. So this is the higher voltage, 6 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, whatever it is. Whereas this is the 3V3 volts. A uh, reminder to hook this up, it gets the mode correct so that these other things work. For this assignment, you don't have to do the second motor. If you can get one motor working, that's great. Um, and so here's some code that will just test that it's working. But I really want you getting the thing going with the um, web app. Uh, the web page and the INO. The INO you don't have to touch in this case, it's more the web page uh, sending directions and um, PWM analog. So, clockwise for a bit, a little break, counterclockwise for a bit, and fast, and a nine, and a second stop. Yet again, remember I'm not wanting to show you, but the little LED goes on, starts turning, and it stops, and it turns the other way, and it goes fast. Uh, now the big one is a little bit different because it's strange. It only runs one motor, so you have the two wires to the motor. You've got the voltage, the higher voltage on the motor. Um, sorry, it says spark car, it should say photon. Uh, 3v3 ground connects to those things. A5 is the PWM for the speed, but it has this weird D6 and D5. What happens here is if you set this to high and this one to low, it goes one direction. If you set that to low and this one to high, it goes the other direction. Um, if you set them both on, some motors will break, whereas if you set them both low, uh, they might coast. And so that's why it's a little more advanced. This motor driver can handle much more voltage, of up to about 41 volts and about 30 amps. Uh, we try to stay way less that, than that for safety in the classroom. Uh, the dual motor driver is more like 11 volts and 1.2 amps. This is for little toy vehicles. Um, so, reminder, you've got these checks. Uh, here's the the big motor driver check. A5 is the analog, D5 and D6 are the left and the right, and then the flash. And what it's going to do, it's going to set one direction, um, have the motor go slowly, wait three seconds, then stop the motor, wait three seconds, then change the direction, have the motor go slow, that's the 50, it can go up to 255, and then have the motor go fast for one second and then have everything stop and D7 go off. That's, that's the code. The hard part is going to get it, uh, have it working on the web app.
one way. Stop for a bit. Other way, then faster. And we're done.